Hi right, guys, it is a fine spring day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this lovely Friday, where are we, June 18th, 2021, the last springtime Friday before the summer of 2021 gets here, and it should be a doozy. But since it is Friday, it is time for my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant here on Collapse Chronicles, where I head over to mongabay.com to find out what's on the uh, minds of Rhett Butler and the boys and girls. Oh, uh, before I go, just one piece of house cleaning. Alright, so yesterday I said I need 50 people saying they are uh, interested that they would tune in if Collapse Chronicles does a live stream each week. So far, 28 people have signed up. So if you want uh, to have a live stream once a week, we need 22 more people to say, I'm in. Just send a comment to this video, I'm in, and I will pitch you when we hit 50. And you'll see about a live stream, but uh, this is not a live stream. This is a dead stream. Many dead streams, I'm sure, in this all right, once again, here we go, guys. For the how many times? For the 300, and if I had been doing this 10 years, for the 520th time, let's listen to the Manga Bay Roundup. We're going to start in Palawan in the Philippines. Illegal logging in Philippines, Palawan, stokes fear of a mining resurgence. Yes, since November, indigenous people have observed trees that have been illegally felled within a mining concession in southern Palawan in the western Philippines. The forests are sacred to the indigenous Palawan people, who have for decades fought against plans to mine the area. Yes, but against the backdrop of loosening restrictions on mining both nationally and locally, Palawan leaders and NGOs say the logging could be a precursor for a resurgence of mining. Yes, do you think so? All right, you can draw your own dots between that headline and this one. <clears throat> paid in blood, standing up to private interests often turns deadly in Brazil, in Brazil and everywhere else. Uh, in 2017, police officers killed 10 rural <clears throat> workers in Pará, Brazil, uh, on January 26th of this year, a survivor of that was found shot in his home. His story reveals a frightening pattern in Brazil where standing up to private interests, meaning planet eaters, often turns deadly. Yes, do you think so? As the workers have paid in blood. Alright, for the uh, knee slapper of the year, you know, my only complaint about Manga Bay is this uh, hopium soaked uh, dreaming. So, you know, over on their YouTube channel, Red is running a video titled New Age of Sail, looking at new ships designed for sustainable maritime trade. I don't know if you can see this picture. You can go over to Manga Bay's if you want to uh, get your laugh of the day. There is a picture of sustainable maritime trade. Uh, Rhett Butler 
knows as well as I do that the very notion of sustainable maritime trade is an absolute oxymoron. There is no such thing as sustainable maritime trade. The very notion is absurd. Rhett, you know this. Anyway, let's get back to reality. Uh, okay, this is... All right, finally, we, we're looking, we're going over to, right here in the good old USA, uh, to the state of Nevada. And this, you can take this uh, from the state of Nevada to anywhere on the planet. Despite opposition from the Paiute Shoshone tribe, ranchers and environmentalists we have we have cowboys indians and tree huggers all on the same side here despite opposition from cowboys indians and tree huggers a company meaning a big corporation proposes to build a lithium mine on these indigenous people's lands in Nevada, which hold great ecological and cultural significance to serve the booming renewable energy sector. Yes, the proposal for Thacker Pass, Nevada, illustrates that while renewable energy has the potential to reduce our dependence on oil, gas, and coal, at scale, at scale, it poses its own environmental threats to water, land, and biodiversity. Uh, writes one uh, protester, one founder of a protest camp seeking to protect the area from development, quote, a true ecological society must first and foremost protect biodiversity and natural habitat where it exists, not sacrifice it for industrial scale energy production. Close quote. And Rhett wants you to know this article is a commentary the views expressed are those of the author, not necessarily Manga Bay. But uh, this is all part of explaining the big green lie uh, of this renewable energy crap saving the planet. This greenwashing crap is a lithium mine. Good God, how many lithium mines are being planned all around the planet so you can uh, you know plug in your little save the planet electric vehicle uh, don't get me going on an electric vehicle rant I've had plenty of those pointing out the tiny little bit of difference uh, between an electric vehicle and a gas sucking vehicle uh, anyway Let's move ahead. Thank you for that. Uh, another one of these articles about the myth of sustainable palm oil. Okay, guys, one more time. There is no such thing as sustainable palm oil any more than there is such a thing as sustainable renewable energy any more than there is such a thing as sustainable maritime trade you cannot have a sustainable anything when you have a population of eight billion people on a planet okay oh, you, you know you know uh, th 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 this whole notion of this sustainability crap. If I hear this word one more time, 
the, the whole notion of sustainability, throw it out the window. This planet cannot sustain 8 billion people, much less 10 or 12 billion. Anyway, I'm uh, getting to a post that uh, is a commentary that uh, does not necessarily reflect the opinions of Manga Bay. <clears throat> anyway, okay, gee, I think we've already been through this twice already in this ramp. Here we go again. Let's go over to Sumatra. Land dispute turns violent as Sumatran indigenous groups clash with a pulpwood firm. Hmm. I love that word, pulp wood. A recent clash between indigenous community members in Sumatra and workers from a pulp wood producer has marred ongoing efforts to resolve a decades-long land conflict. Yes, uh, this is looking at over 50,000 acres. Uh, of rainforest getting uh, ready to be turned into pulp wood, which I think means toilet paper. Um, yes, okay. Uh, you will not believe this. In Malaysia, we have claims of timber certification flaws. Uh, for more than a year now, indigenous communities in Malaysian Borneo have been campaigning against timber conglomerate Sam Ling's certified sustainable production plantations. Certified sustainable. They allege the certification process for the plantations, which overlaps their traditional territory, were flawed hmm, and carried out without proper community consent. Yes. Uh, okay. Anyway, enough of this sustainability crap. Okay, I think we mentioned this story, but we're going to update it this week. Watered down plan to save Indian Ocean, India Ocean yellowfin tuna disappoints conservationists. Yes, highly contentious negotiations this month over Indian Ocean yellowfin tuna catches have led to the adoption of an interim plan proposed by the Maldives, a major tuna fishing nation. Yes. Uh, anyway. Kiss the yellowfin tuna. Okay, what is the latest update on the Sri Lankan cargo ship uh, sinking with its toxic payload. I don't know if that was part of the sustainable maritime trade or not, this boat they're talking about. Uh, environmental experts and officials are bracing for the worst as the partially sunk MV Express Pearl cargo ship threatens a massive oil and chemical leak in addition to the millions of plastic beads it has already released, the beads called nurdles are so far the most prominent manifestation of the disaster and have washed up along the island's coast around Colombo uh, with underwater plastic pollutions too. Meanwhile, the ship's cargo of nitric acid and its bunker fuel pose threats of widespread pollution and changes to the seawater's chemistry, which could cause great damage to sensitive marine ecosystems. 
Over the long term, the accumulation of microplastics as well as the chemicals could cascade through the food web and contaminate entire ecosystems for years or even decades to come. Experts warn this is one cargo ship. You will not believe this, that the coal phase-out plan gets pushed back in power-hungry Indonesia. Yes, officials in industry in Indonesia have questioned a plan by the National Utility to phase out coal-fired power plants. The main objection to the plan include the high cost of prematurely retiring coal-fired power plants that have not achieved a return on their investment. Yes, and the persistently high price of renewable compared to coal in Indonesia. Uh, a glaring inconsistency in the plan is that the utility is planning to bring 117 under construction and coal-fired power plants online, negating any notion of a coal phase-out. Yes. Okay, weren't we talking about a tin mine last? I don't know if this is the same tin mine or just one of 10,000 other tin mines. Tin mines close in on an Indonesian hamlet still clinging to nature. The indigenous Lom people of Tuing Hamlet have been guarding their area from the environmental dangers of mining activities for centuries. Theirs now is the only hamlet left in their community still free from tin mines. Tin mining dominates the economy in Bangka, an island off southeast Sumatra, but growing demand for the metal has wrought devastating ecological impacts to the islands that was once a paradise. Yes. The waters off the coast of Tuing now face a similar fate after zoning plans for coastal areas recently approved by the government allow for mining to take place. Yes. As the community, the island's oldest community traditions look at extinction. There you go. Okay. We have to have one C word story. One C word. Uh, anyone still clinging to some absurd notion that the C word uh, has been good? for the planet. Here we go. The numbers are in. Banks increased, increased deforestation linked investments by eight billion dollars during the corona panic. A new analysis of financial data by Forest and Finance, a coalition of NGOs, has found that weak policies and continued major investments in forest risk sectors are driving deforestation in Southeast Asia, Latin America, and Africa. Yes. Um, so after looking at the 50 top financial institutions, uh, investments in more than 200 companies operating in deforestation-linked industries such as palm oil and beef, the group found an increase of more than 8 
billion dollars of investments in the deforestation link companies compared to the previous year. Do you think so? All right, we have a new eco label. You might be aware of the Dolphin Safe eco label. Well, we now have a whale safe, a whale safe eco label. All right, what do you think, Sancho Panza? A whale safe eco label. Mm -hmm. A new eco label will certify, will certify that freight and cruise companies that take steps to keep their ships from colliding with whales. To earn the e new eco label, companies must have monitoring aboard their ships, shale, share whale observation data, blah, blah, blah. The challenge ahead is to persuade companies to sign up and comply a task that will come down to pressure from consumers and may be easier for some kinds of maritime companies than others. You know, it's these sustainable uh, maritime giant cargo ships. I think what they're doing, these sustainable, I, I haven't watched the video yet, so uh, these new sustainable maritime uh, giant whale smashing cargo ships that Rhett Butler is, is promoting on Manga Bay. You remember those things called cow catchers on the, on the front of locomotives. They, they had these little uh, like arrow shaped things that would kind of nudge the cow off of the railroad track instead of getting hit head on by the steam engine. They would just kind of push them aside. So I need to go watch that YouTube video because my guess is there's probably a, a sustainable whale pusher uh, on the front of the giant sustainable cargo ship so they can offer an eco label. Whale safe eco label. Okay, I love it when they ask a question. Can the Japanese seafood industry reconcile their finances with nature? The answer to the question is no, the Japanese seafood industry cannot reconcile their finances with nature. Despite the global depletion of fish populations from overfishing, it seems surprising. Yes, it seems surprising that Japan's seafood sector is increasingly generating revenue. Yes, I know anybody familiar with the cove, the cove, you know, that big uh, dolphin slaughter every year, which is a part of the Japanese uh, seafood industry, where they kill all those dolphins and whales over there in the cove. It sure is a big surprise to me that, uh, that uh, the Japanese seafood industry is pushing profits over environmental protections. Yes, investors have rewarded these companies for using management strategies to offset the impact of depleted resources on their businesses rather than for ensuring those assets stop being degraded. Hmm, a new analysis by Planet Tracker, Planet Tracker, there you go, finds that companies have used foreign expansion, acquisitions, vertical integration, whatever that means, cost cutting and deleveraging as strategies to increase their profitability. Companies should instead ensure that their fishing quotas are set in line with scientific advice and not 
higher than maximum sustainable yields. Hmm. And ensure that they eventually cover all species. Yes, I'm sure that's what the investors are concerned about. Okay, here's the latest on uh, the EU, uh, you know, pillaging the planet over this uh, biomass lie. Um, Okay, so they're, they're still debating the question in the EU whether forest biomass burning will continue to be considered carbon neutral by the 27 EU member states. I have been burning a serious amount of uh, forest biomass the past three days. You're all doomer. What I've been doing between... Uh, Collapse Chronicles is uh, I have been burning uh, bugs in a jar forest biomass. I can assure you I have been doing my share to increase my carbon emissions. Current science is clear. Burning forest biomass to make energy is not carbon neutral and the burning of wood pellets is in fact dirtier per unit of electricity than burning coal. But the forestry industry and the EU with the, uh, now I'm adding this, with the nod from the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, uh, the forestry industry, the European Union, and the UN continue defending biomass. Yes, prompting an open letter from forest advocates harpooning the policy. I love that verb, harpooning the policy. Uh, Yes, more than 50%, more than 50% of the European Union's current wood harvest, meaning planet-wide, is being burned for energy, uh, said one of these uh, tree huggers. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is not. This is one of these clueless morons in the EU. This is a clueless moron uh, named Mr. Timmermans. Uh, you, you heard it right here, guys. Quote, Ecocide threatens the survivability of our forest, which is why they go to the U.S. and the Amazon for their wood. Ecocide threatens the survivability of our forest. I certainly do not underestimate the challenges we face. But still, I believe burning forest biomass can play a very useful role in the energy transition, close quote, said the good Mr. Timmermans. Anyway, good Lord, uh, guys, I've got, I have to go pick up a trailer, uh, speaking of forest biomass, I have got to get up, uh, go pick up a trailer of wood from this Amish lumber mill, uh, so I can, uh, go ahead with my own, so, um, uh, Couple more. Uh, gee, calls for independent probe after anti mine Indonesian official dies. Do you think so? Uh, human rights and environmental activists have called for an independent investigation into this to Helmut Hontog's sudden death 
Yes, he was a staunch opponent of a planned gold mine, gold mine who died under mysterious circumstances on a commercial flight last week. Yes, it his death might be connected to his stance against the mining concession that covers nearly 60% of the district's land area. His death is the latest in a disturbing pattern of environmental defenders dying under suspicious circumstances in Indonesia. Yes. Environmentalists, meanwhile, say they are worried that the mining activity that he was fighting before dying of suspicious circumstances will lead to ecological destruction. Do you think so? I have already, uh, well, here's one associated to that story. Illegal miners block indigenous leaders headed to protest in Brazil's capital. Illegal gold miners slash the tires of a bus and threaten to set it on fire in a bid to block leaders in the Munduruku indigenous, indigenous reserve from traveling to the capital to attend planned protests this week. Yes. The attacks come weeks after miners fired shots and set houses ablaze. Uh, blah, blah, I think we get it. I've already covered this story in Iran. This is Manga Bay spin. Rocky Mountains here in the U.S., those Rocky Mountains, are burning more now than ever, and it could get worse. Wildfires in the high elevation Rocky Mountains are burning nearly twice as often as in the past, according to a new study that looked back at 2,000 years of data. While fires in the Rockies, like in the U.S. West, are part of the natural cycle, the study authors say the current rate of burning puts us in, quote, uncharted territory. Fires are expected to continue and increase infrequently as climate change leads to hotter and drier summers. Do you think so? Okay, back to Brazil. After two collapses, a third Vale Dam at imminent risk of rupture. Yes, Vale. The Brazilian mining company already responsible for two deadly dam collapses has another dam that is now at, quote, imminent risk of rupture, a government audit warns. Yes. <coughs> anyway, uh, Get ready for mining dam collapse number three. Talking about chronicling the collapse. This is the third time to chronicle the collapse of a mining dam. Okay. Why don't we solve the climate and biodiversity crises together? There you go. Uh... Do you realize that global climate change and the unprecedented loss of species currently underway results from humans? All right, we just heard about some mining dam. Now we have irrigation dam threatens Thailand's tiger forest. They plan to construct seven dams and in a forest complex in Thailand that I cannot pronounce could cause widespread habitat loss and sever important wildlife corridors. Yes, the forest is uh, home 
to one of Thailand's two remaining uh, breeding tiger populations. Uh, there you go. Uh, there we go. What is the UN up to? UN declares decade of ecosystem restoration to, quote, make peace with nature. The United Nations has declared the coming decade a time for ecosystem restoration, highlighting the importance of preventing, halting, and reversing ecosystem degradation worldwide. Yes, it calls on the world to restore at least one billion hectares, otherwise known as two and a half billion acres, an area larger than China of degraded land in the next uh, in the next decade. Yes, uh, do you think so? Um, Good Lord, guys, this goes on and on and on and on and on. My God. Uh, all right. Uh, I realize I'm talking to myself. The battery's about to run out, and I have to go get some wood from a former forest in upstate New York as Amazon rainforest destruction is accelerating. Hmm destruction of the Earth's largest rainforest is accelerating ahead of the region's peak fire and deforestation season. Yes, uh, in May there was a 67% increase in deforestation uh, over one year ago. Then what is the cost of illegal mining in Brazil's Amazon. Uh, anyway, you will not believe that a Chinese special economic zones are hot spots for wildlife trafficking. Yes. Uh, Here is about how the African white-backed vulture is going on. One more, guys. I really got to get out of here. Let's end with slash and burn clearing nears indigenous park as Brazil's fire season ignites. And we can expect more and more uh, an Amazon deforestation going through the roof, uh, Amazon fires going through the roof. Uh, I've been having this rant for 10 years. I guess I will have it for 10 years more, assuming uh, there is a planet in 10 years to rant about. But right now, I've got to wrap this up and uh, go borrow my buddy's big flatbed trailer to load up with dead... I think they're white pine or hemlock trees uh, that used to be standing on a mountain in upstate New York, but now will be turned into my picnic tables and a tiny house, I believe. Anyway, get out there and enjoy your forest products while you still can. Thank you, Amish people. Bye, guys. Yes, little dog. We have done it again. Another Manga Bay rant talking to ourselves. Let's see if this is the least viewed rant of the week. <laughs>